Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's going to be for Leo. It's going to be for week three, July 2021. Leo, my Leos, my lovely, lovely lions. Leo, Leo, lovely, lovely Leos. I always get mistaken for a Leo. <clears throat> All right, my little lions. Let's see what we're looking at. Queen of Wands coming in in Sag energy. Whew, she's one of my favorites in this deck. Ten of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Looks like you're worried about money, longevity, stability. This is the Ten of Pentacles is an ending. It can be a legacy. Let's see. Four wants commitment, happy home life. So you're moving forward. You got the chariot, right? Moving on. Pushing through obstacles. Could have a cancer moon. Sun moon rising. Sag sun moon rising. King of Pence, you're dealing with money. Somebody here has money. King of Pence always has money in the bank. They're secure. They've worked extremely hard for their money. It's not given. They're practical. They're reliable. They know what they're doing. So, you're worried about, again, Six of Pence. Could be balance, could be money. Aries just had a similar reading. This is four of wands. Go within. I'm going to switch this up a minute. You could be coming in as the queen of wands or a cancer, cancerian energy. You're moving forward. The chariot's being triumphant. Okay, this could be you wanting something long term with the king of pence and not settling for less because you know you're worth and it's the four of wands. But see, if you were this feminine, you would already know that it wouldn't be questionable. You wouldn't have to really go within. See what I'm saying? So it didn't really make sense for me to just switch that up. Are you dealing with a Sag and a Cancer arguing? Are you a Leo and you're arguing with a Sag or a Cancer? <sighs> All right, let's go one more round. Eight of Swords. Now, see, it's, it's like you're not being triumphant, though. So you're dealing with a Cancer. So I don't know if we have two women here. Feeling stuck, feeling trapped. See, the Chariot wouldn't feel stuck. And first of all, the Eight of Swords is an illusion. Okay? So it's it's not even real. But it's, you can mentally put somebody there. I don't know if you're using your looks, your charm, your wits, money. You're not stuck. This energy of the Queen of Wands chariot would not be stuck. So I feel like you have two energies here. So the Queen of Wands is still fighting. If you have two energies, the Queen of Wands is still fighting for something. If you're a Cancer, you're feeling stuck. No, you wouldn't be feeling stuck. You'd be, it, it's triumph. So, why are all my fire signs tricky this week? You are the only ones. Overall energy for this place for the Queen of Wands, Chariot, Nine of Wands, Eight of Swords. Overall energy for this place. Balance. It's about an offer. Somebody feels like they missed an opportunity for you and they want to come back. 
and create and balance things out. I don't know if they feel stuck or this energy is going to come in. At one point, you fought for this. Then you move forward. So I don't know if somebody's going to come back. Because there's an offer. There was a missed opportunity and now somebody wants it back. Judgment. This is second chances. This is making your own judgment call. This is apologies. It's a big deal. Could be making a judgment call regarding money. Strength, having the strength, having the courage. See, this four of swords is stressed out. It looks like they're stressed out. They're not doing much, right? But stressed out over this, over money. Because the six of pence is here. It wouldn't be over regaining control or balance. It's ironic because who else had the four swords in meditate? Who was that? So you have the real reversed. So it's the courage to move forward because something didn't go in someone's direction. But again, that's a kind of balance. Not having the courage here. This is doing nothing when you know something needs to change too. Yeah, because the Six of Swords is a lesson here. Something needs to change. This is somebody who's struggling to change. Somebody doesn't want to accept change. So there's a masculine here making a judgment call. Yeah, this is crying over spilt milk. Um, not This was not moving forward. Now you're going within. What do I do? What do I not do? Do I want this? Do I not want this? So your yeah, energy is a little all over the place. So something's about to be revealed about your home life, past pain, stuff you've been holding on to. Because it's like you're really going within here. So it's it's like exposing something. Ten of Pence here, reversed here too. It's, it's not accepting. So this isn't a legacy. This is regarding money. Maybe somebody's financial, maybe someone's relies on you financially, vice versa. All I know is that the biggest message I can get here is there's a masculine that's making a judgment call regarding money in a situation and is now on their path following their destiny. Something didn't go in their direction here either. What is with you fire signs this week? Oh my goodness. Let's see what the outcome is here. Possible outcome for Leo. Two of Swords. So it's it's all about making a decision. But it's like you gotta open your eyes. You've been blindfolded long enough. Someone's making a decision regarding a masculine. Could be too masculine. Could be two people. So now you got the King of Cups, King of Swords, Knight of Wands. Holy shit. You're dealing with somebody who's in and out, in and out. Balance needs to be restored if you want to make something work. You have another G energy here that's stressing out over money. I don't know what that's in regards to. Or family life, home life. Family. There's a little bit of lack of hope. With the masculine. That's how masculine's feeling, but that's gonna shift. You're gonna have to make a choice regarding a, a masculine. It's it's clear as day. There's multiple men here. I don't see anything saying that you're dating. I mean, this could be a date card here and there, but um let me throw one of these cards for you before I head over to Patreon. This was a confusing read, so this might be a confusing week for you. But I am you look like you're not confused though. So if anything, it would be just watch out for manipulation if that's the case. 
sunglasses. Yeah, see, watching, stalking, gaslighting, focusing out, perception. Got the snake, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. See, somebody doesn't like that, somebody else is in the picture. So it could be a fire sign and a water sign. I don't know if there's multiple men here. I don't know if you're trying to convince somebody to flirt, have intimacy. Like, there's something going on here with multiple men. There's a woman here that's being sneaky, extremely sneaky. And somebody, other people wouldn't see it because the glasses are on. It's not the best scenario. I hope someone picks up on that. And then over here we have paradise. All right, the ten of pence, king of pence, judgment, and the star. Going in a new direction. Happiness, joy, expansion, enjoying one another. So somebody else has to be here. So I'm thinking there's two women there. What's this cancer card? This is Chariot Place. Photograph, nostalgia, making memories, thinking about you. This is Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, we have the Chaser and Seduction. All right, codependent, fear of abandonment issues. So you have two women here. Third party interference. Hooking up, dating. So someone's seeing somebody else and looks like they're lying about it or not telling the truth. It looks like it might be ex exposed or it's about to be exposed. Or like really going within because you think something's tricky. Listen to your gut here. You have a masculine energy that can be extremely happy elsewhere. They just need to make a judgment call and go towards destiny. Walk a new path. Clearly with the wheel being reversed, you've been struggling with change. Acceptance is what I'm hearing. A massive need for acceptance. Okay. So it looks like there's multiple women here. Well, there's two or three, multiple men. You have one woman here that you like clearly saw. There's like another feminine that can't stop thinking about her. I don't know if she knows she's being juggled, but this is somebody who's purposely been interfering, dating maybe behind someone's back, afraid of abandonment issues. We had the five of pence somewhere. Oh, I think that was an Aries if you want to watch Aries. This is I like you, you know, so someone likes you and then girl with a snake. So somebody, I don't see, see, I don't know. This looks like jealousy. This is jealousy. This is somebody else is in the picture. Somebody's not happy about it because somebody's making a judgment call. Somebody probably thought it was going to go in another direction. I don't know what's going on here. Someone's being sneaky, clever, using their charm or trying to. Just this jealousy. What is this moon? Let's just look at the moon and then I'm going to take this to Patreon. Making better choices, self-love, being happier, you know. So something's going to come out when it comes to your own happiness, your house, your, your, house, your home life, commitment, what you're about to do next. It, bottom line is your own happiness. Others of you, this is because something's being revealed and you're crying over spilt milk. This is somebody who didn't make healthy choices. There's not self-love. There wasn't enough love to keep something going because it was constantly making the wrong choices. There's one card for healthy choices. It's going to go either, either way depending on who you are in this story. Temperance, healing, bowing, balance. Hangman, hey, man, you're not changing your perspective. Yeah, see, you don't want something to be over. It's almost like you don't want somebody else in this situation. Okay, so I'm going to take this to Patreon. I hope this helps. Um, there's massive jealousy. Okay, there's manipulation. There's, you know, trying to charm situations. It's Somebody knows there's another woman. There's third-party interference. There's another woman here. You know, there's... 
third party interference here people putting up boundaries so you can't go in certain directions trying to keep calm trying to keep the balance you have a leo sag aries energy that's stressed out there's somebody else in the picture somebody knows they're still giving to somebody else um there's a masculine here that's about to make a judgment call and be extremely happy as soon as they accept a situation you have another feminine here that's extremely stressed out regarding you ask me as money kept falling on that. I don't think it's, it's family. There could be some family things going on, but that's that's having the courage, right? That's six of pence. That's you have that twice finding the balance. But to me, it, it's, it looks like more to, about money because the wheel of fortune is reversed. Like something didn't go in her favor, and there's no love here. Okay, so there's a there's an agenda here, whether it's hidden or not. And this is somebody who's not changing their perspective when it comes to someone or something, does not want to accept that's over, would rather still live in la-la land, thinking something's going to go in their direction, hoping it can go this way, hoping it will go that way, and it's, it's not going to. Something's going to get revealed. This this is There's a lesson here for this energy here, too, because this energy is consistently making not the best choices when it comes to life or love. And possible end outcome, you have multiple men here. Someone's got to make a decision regarding a man. You could be, if this is all one man, this is somebody who's in and out, in and out, comes and goes, has passion, will give passion, then take it away with the King of Swords. This is very logical energy, very practical. It's in your head, it's one foot out, one foot in. Constantly being indecisive, but loves somebody, but is grouchy. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that's the energy of that particular person if that's one person. Like they do have love. And it's it's the it's the masculine. Unless there's multiple men. I I just don't see any other cards that are like telling me. No, see this is a masculine that's looking in this direction. The yin and the yang, balance, union, you know, completing each other. You, you have a perfect match here somewhere. You know? I'll see you guys on Patreon. Just looks like you're going to have to make the right decisions. You have to move forward. You have to accept. Truth has to come out. There's only one way to move forward. And it's, it's the right way. Love you guys. Have a great week. Bye.